job losses. A member of senior management tells trade union representatives of company plans. Gentlemen, I have here a memo from our parent company in the United States which contains important news for us all. The decision has been made to adopt a global policy of rationalization. As each company is autonomous, we have all been asked to propose a plan of restructuring and to send details of this as soon as possible. This will inevitably involve redundancies, but the board of directors here can do nothing to prevent this. Our hands are tied. We have here copies of our plan, and it is hoped, gentlemen, that you will cooperate with us in trying to implement this as effectively and speedily as possible. Obviously, we would wish, where possible, to give people early retirement or voluntary redundancy, rather than impose compulsory redundancy on anyone. You will note that generous redundancy packages have been outlined. We hope that both you and your members will see these redundancies as a way of conserving jobs. In the present climate, only companies which are prepared to rationalise their workforce will survive. Those who do not will go to the wall. We are confident that if the recommendations are carried out, the company worldwide, and our part of it in particular, will be able to weather the storm. You know how tough the market is just now, and you also know that recently we have had a rather rocky ride in some parts of the country. It is a question of the survival of the fittest, and we must make ourselves fit. This means slimming down our workforce. We appreciate that your members will be concerned to learn of the proposed job cuts, but we hope that they will accept them as being inevitable. If the workers do try to oppose these cuts, they will be on a hiding to nothing. It has been made clear to us that any industrial action or threat of it is likely to put more jobs in jeopardy. We would like to inform your members that the proposed job cuts will apply to all members of staff, to management, office workers and factory workers alike. Be assured that this is not a case of there being one law for the rich and another for the poor, so to speak. We hope that you will have fruitful negotiations with your members and let us know as soon as possible the outcome of these negotiations. Thank you.